ladies and gentlemen and collage designers we're going to do part five we're going to learn how to use the path tool as a selection tool all right so the path tool or the pen tool is very precise it's the go-to tool for professionals so both in uh, photoshop and in gimp that's what people are going to use who are um, really good at it because they get used to it and they like the the precise and control of, over it it's the most tedious it may not be the hardest honestly but it's the most tedious and time consuming um, but it's the most accurate and uh, you can do corner anchor points just like in um, in Adobe Illustrator or Inkscape or Photoshop by clicking on the handle. Uh, you can do a corner anchor point. All right, so let's take a peek at what we're going to do here. So here's the project I have, my little sample project I've got going. And I have this layer right here. And I am going to zoom in on this um, stem of this leaf because that fuzziness of it makes it difficult to select with... Um, normal selection tool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the path tool and I'm going to I'm going to just use that just like any other um, tool to make a bezier curve. You're just going to click along the path. You never go inside the object. You never go, never go outside the object. You just go along the path here and you're going to click here and there and just keep going and that's good for now so what I'm going to do is I want to show you that whenever you're working on a tool it's always good to look at what is going on here in the toolbar here so right now we're designing our path so right now I can also go and edit the path so I can click on a hand uh, anchor point and I can use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move it and I can use this to adjust the handles. Okay, um, so it looks pretty good so far. Let's see about this thing. Yeah, so it looks good so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to. Um, oh, you know why I'm I'm talking about this? I'm going to show you one thing. So one thing you can do is like let's say this you don't like this anchor point at all. I can hit the backspace button and get rid of it. Okay, so that's how you edit. So I'm going to go back into design mode. I'm going to click here, and then I'm going to continue on with this path, and I want to show you how to do a corner anchor point. So I'm going to hit pause on the video and jump right back. Okay, so I'm jumping back in here. What I want to show you is I wanted to get down to this corner. So what you can do when you get to a corner is you click and drag, release, and then you grab the handle and you just change it, and then you can do a corner anchor point like that. Okay. So I'm going to hit pause again, and I'm going to finish this thing up, and I'm going to show you what I want you guys to do. All right, so I got all the way around, and so what we're going to do now is we're going to go from our, our layers tab here. We're going to go over to our paths dialog, and I'm going to save this path. So this is part of the assignment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this button that says... Um, What am I going to do? Let's figure out what to do here. Which button should I push? Path to selection. Selection to path. Paint. I don't know. Let's see here. Okay, so. Well, that didn't work. Okay, let's try this. Let's see what happens if we hit enter. Let's see if it'll. There we go. So we hit enter and it turns that path into a selection. And then we're going to come over here and we're going to say selection to path. And it's going to create it. And so we'll name this leaf. And I'm going to say path tool. So that you get points for creating your path there. So once you have this thing selected and you've saved it, we can come back to our layers. We could do a d we could do different things. So like if we wanted to, we could create a new layer, and we could call it leaf and click OK, and we could paint it. So if we wanted to like paint that thing, so we could we could paint just like a black leaf or whatever. So that's one thing you can do. So with with a selection. So I I don't think I'm going to do that. So but what it, what I'll do instead is I'll go back here. And I'm gonna go. Um, I'm gonna go layer.
No, I'm not. So I, what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go edit, and I'm going to go copy, and then I'm going to go edit, paste as a new layer. And so then I'm going to have a layer that's just the the leaf, and we can uh, we can do like we always do. I, uh, right now I'm going to press Control, Alt, and J, or is it Control Shift and J? Yeah, Control Shift and J will let me see the whole thing, and then I need to make it fit the whole um, the whole project. So I'm going to go to my I'm going to go to my scale tool. I'm going to scale. I want to scale the whole layer. So I'll shrink that thing down to fit. I'll move it where I want it. Let's put it here. And then as usual, we're going to probably want to add a drop shadow. So I'm going to go select. No, select none. It won't. Oh, is it floating? Okay, so to anchor this thing, I have to press Control and H. Let's try it again. Click on this thing and press Control H. There we go. Okay, so now we've got that thing done. So now we can add the filter to it. So we can go filter, light, and shadow. We can do the drop shadow. I've already saved a drop shadow. And then click OK. Okay, so that is how to use the... That is how to use the paths tool as a selection tool to create very accurate selections, especially for things that are super fuzzy like that stem. All right, let's see. I think that might be it for the spiel. Let's jump back to the spiel and see what we have. Oh, no, we're not. Uh, so we already did this. We created a name for the path. So be sure to name the layer with the selection tool you use. All right, so to get full credit for this project, you have to use a variety of the selection tools, right? So we had, so in the last videos, we used all these different selection tools. And so, for example, on this, I can't remember, what did I use on this one? I think I used the fuzzy select tool to get that one. So what, I, what I'd do is I'd go here, I'd go to that layer, and I'd name it, I um, can't remember what kind of flower that is, but I'd, I'd add, shoot, can't remember the kind of flower, but I'd add the fuzzy, And I put the name of the thing. Same thing on on this one. So this is the this is a leaf we just did. So I would name that path selection leaf, something like that. Okay. So make sure you do all that to get your full credit for the project. And let's take a look if there's anything else. Yeah. Name the layer with the selection tool you used. Okay. And then. Let's take a look at the scoring guide for this thing. So if you look at this thing, and if you look at this right here, it says select a, a, using the paths tool, and uh, it says pen tool or path tool in the name of that of that layer. Use other selection tools to select and change individual selections of the image. Save this selection or the layer as a any rate. So we so do those things. Okay. So we're gonna name. So we're going to name the layers, and then if you, if at, at minimum on on the path tool, you have to create uh, a path with that name. Okie doke. All right, that that's it for this one. Go on to the the next one when you are ready.